I don't want to be that guy who keeps on bringing things up from the past, but don't look now, folks. Jared McCann is doing really, really well with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Erica Branson, he's not really doing all too much, but Jared McCann is a first-line winger with the Pens. Jared McCann today plays with Sidney Crosby and Jake Gensel as the left winger on that first line. Which a lot of people seeing this video, you know, it's a primarily Vancouver-based fan base here. They might be saying, what? And that's the immediate reaction that I had when I saw this. Jared McCann has himself 11 points in the 19 games he's played as a Penguin. Eight goals playing alongside of Sidney Crosby and Jake Gensel. Erica Branson, he's not actually doing too much. He's got one assist in six games with the Pens, and Guddy does as Guddy does. So we all know what Erica Branson is like, but Jared McCann seems to have really found an offensive spark, somewhat, playing for Pittsburgh. He's got himself a higher points per game than he did with the Florida Panthers, earlier this season, and he's on pace for 34 goals over 82 games, just taking a look at his 8 goals in 19 assists category. Now, the only thing here is that he's not actually getting any assists. To his 8 goals with the Penguins this year, he has 8 assists. Overall, that's not necessarily the best. If you take a look at his entire numbers for this year with the Panthers and the Penguins, 16 total goals, 13 total assists. That is a total of 29 points over the span of 65 games. That's not bad. But, obviously, playing with Crosby and Gensel is different than playing in the middle six of a Florida Panthers team. Jared McCann has honestly been kind of good. And you could say that's because he's with Crosby. I think it's very obvious to understand that Sidney Crosby's career has been riddled with seasons playing with not necessarily the most all-star wingers possible. He's had its chemistry with guys who haven't necessarily had the best showings in the past. That's why having guys like Sherry on his wing and Kunitz on his wing, he makes these guys bring out their best potentials. And Jared McCann is somebody who follows that pattern. Now, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that Crosby and Kessel not meshing together well is a bad thing. I'm just saying that having Crosby with other guys who aren't necessarily super, super good usually makes them better. And that's how Crosby usually finds his success too. I mean, he's at 88 points, he's almost at 90. It's Sidney Crosby, I don't need to explain myself all too much. But Jared McCann has legitimately been all right. Last game against the Boston Bruins, Jared McCann had two goals in the Penguins' 4-2 win. Two games ago, he had an assist. Three games ago, he had an assist. Four games ago, he had two points, a goal, and an assist. So, Jared McCann has really been starting to put things up lately, and this begs the question, is this the start of Jared McCann finding his career, turning back the clock into what he was able to do with the Sioux Greyhounds? Is this it? Because Jared McCann, when he played for the Vancouver Canucks three years ago, he had 18 points, 9 goals, 9 assists, and 69 games before getting traded over to Florida for Eric Goodbranson. And in Florida, he wasn't necessarily super good. I mean, he had a 30-point season, but overall, McCann wasn't necessarily the most relied-upon guy. We knew that he's always had somewhat of an attitude problem, which is why he was sent out of Vancouver. And coming into Pittsburgh now, he's at a pace where if he plays for a full season, he's on pace for 40-something. And looking at things now, he's probably going to start things off with Crosby next year, if that's how things go. And Jared McCann was always known as a renowned sniper back in his OHL days. A guy who can put up points, who can play make, who can pass the puck, but who could also absolutely rip it as well. Jared McCann coming into the Vancouver Canucks system, he said that he modeled his game after Ryan Kessler, which I know a lot of people didn't like at the time, but hey, that's how it goes. McCann is 22 years old right now. And going into the next few years, if he continues to play with Crosby, is he going to have that status as a legitimate top six elite goal scorer? I don't know, but 
it's an interesting thing to think about because we certainly know that McCann had the potential to be better than Jake Vertanen, who was his Vancouver Canucks 2014 draft counterpart. We always knew that the offensive ceiling for McCann was slightly higher than that of Jake Vertanen. So is this the ultimate catalyst that McCann needed to ultimately develop into a great goal scorer? Literally playing with one of the best players hockey has ever given us? I mean, it's really not a bad way to start getting your offensive production on track. And it's not like he wasn't on track either, I'm just trying to make the case here that he's going to become better and live up to that potential when he was drafted, because he's got so much room and he's got, in my opinion, the second best player in the world playing as his center. As for Eric and Branson, well, we'll talk about that a little bit later, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, your pleasure, that's Gaming, and bye. <laughs>